Welcome, all you cool people out there. On today's episode of Spooky Arts and Crafts, it, uh, <laughs> stained glass. We are making a spooky stained glass today. I already made spooky stained glass decorations for my room last year, so I don't really need any more. Also, I, I, I don't have space on my wall. My room is full with stuff just stuff. <laughs> but luckily my friend asked me if I could make her some spooky decorations out of glass for her room. She said that a bed would be kind of cool for like her wall or a window but then she also said that she doesn't really have space on her, her wall so maybe she thought maybe something that you can put on your on a shelf or something so something that can stand on its own and so I thought I'm just going to make both because no one can stop me. So the the one thing that I will be making is a bed for hanging up on your wall or your window. And then for the thing that will be standing up, I thought maybe a, a cute little ghost holding a pumpkin or something. I think that could be kind of cute. So yeah, first we need to draw a pattern that we can use. I always draw my patterns on Procreate on my iPad. Today on my mom's iPad because my Apple Pencil is broken. And I kind of want to reuse the bed from the stamps we made because I think that's really cute if you haven't seen that video I'm gonna link that here we made stamps last week I think that's a good bed should we just reuse it yes I think so okay so first off bed I always draw the patterns on a canvas size that is also the size of the paper that I will print this on so that I can have a, an, an idea on how big it will be and this is what I'm going to do now right and then also a ghost holding a pumpkin. I haven't really thought this idea through, but um, trust the process, right? Okay, so I printed out the pattern I made and I glued it onto some cardboard and and cut out the different pieces. I always glue it onto some cardboard to give it more stability. And this is the bed I came up with. It's this kind of the same that I sketched for the stamp. And this is this is the ghost I came up with. I I like how it looks. It's a good ghost. This is gonna get painted and painted, and then then it's a cute little pumpkin. The thing about the ghost is, while drawing the ghost, I kind of forgot that it it's meant to be standing. Um, because I have the attention stand of a stone. I've done a few stained glass pieces that can stand on their own, and the way I do it is I put a little rect. Rectang rectangle is that the word that sounds wrong a, rect a rectangle at the bottom of the design and this rectangular thing um, glass piece then goes into a block of wood that i make this is how i usually do it however i forgot that i wanted to do that with this and so i did put the rectangle down here but this is the only place where the ghost and the rectangle overlap not overlap but where they meet and that won't be enough for stability. This, this, that won't hold. So what I, what I did, because I like the ghost and I didn't want to draw another ghost. So what I, what I did was, um, or what the plan is, just do little pieces of wire from here to there. And then I also thought if I, I've, if I cut the rectangle at all the places where there will be wire, then that also add to stability, I think. I don't know if this will work because frankly I don't know what I'm doing but that's that's the best solution I came up with it's probably also the dumbest solution you could come up with but it is a solution I think if it works in the end I don't know if it will um, but I'm just going to stick with it I'm going to trust the process I'm going to trust in my not present arts and crafts skills and um, yeah, we will just see how this goes. I guess this is another episode of Chaos Arts and Crafts. Now, now onto the exciting part. It's time to, to pick some some colors. This is all the glass I own. And um, the good thing about, or the, the positive thing about stained glass is that it's it's fun and you can create really beautiful things. The not so great part is that, well, it's, you have to grind your glass at some point and that's kind of loud and it's 
kind of expensive to start out because you need to buy a bunch of materials and it's also it also continues to be expensive because there's so much beautiful glass out there and I want to own it all this for example I bought this because this is this is look how beautiful it is and it's also it's called Van Gogh glass so of course I had to buy it but I, I don't even know what to do with it and I'm too scared to use it because I don't have much of it and it's so beautiful and I'm, I need to reserve to, to keep it for something special um yeah okay <laughs> back to the colors I thought I had kind of this in mind for a bed this is the, oh, you can can't see on camera but it's it's a pinkish purpley very transparent I thought that might be kind of cool for the bed if you want to hang it up in front of a window that could look cool i don't really have no i do have purple is that yes yes no this is what i had in mind this is a transparent purple color and i thought that could look cool it would look great in front of a wall but i thought since my friend doesn't have space in front of her walls i thought maybe she could hang it up in front of a window so i think we will use this for the bed i would love to show you the color but i don't know you can see it in front of white. It's purple. I think that's 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 good. And now ghost, obviously, I need some white for the ghost. This will be our ghost, and then we need orange for the pumpkin. And I only have an orange. Yeah, also transparent orange. I didn't buy glass for this pro for these projects because I thought I. I should just use glass that I already have because I have a lot of glass and um, I didn't want to buy more for this because I, I didn't expect to unlock a new addiction when starting out this hobby but um, yeah buying buying glass definitely is addicting. This is my favorite. This is my favorite glass. Look how beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Back, back to the project. <laughs> okay now it's time to cut the actual glass so let's do another material check what do we need we need this this is the glass cutter with that you can do little scorch lines into your glass and then you can break the glass and you break the glass with one of these this is for bigger cuts and this is for smaller cuts or some people just prefer to use this i like this one then we need some cutting oil and very important safety goals so that my eyes will survive this and i think i want to start with a ghost no, I don't want to start with a ghost. I want to start with a bat because I know the bat will work and won't make me cry. Little disclaimer, I am very bad at glass cutting and um, so usually I have to, my, my glass grinder has to do a lot of the heavy work. So in case you are a stained glass artist or my glass grinder watching this, I do apologize in advance. I think I found an, a cut on here, a scorch line. It just ends in nothing. I don't know why it's there. I don't know what I did there. But I think I shouldn't have that in my ghost, especially because I want to paint this and then it has to go into the into an oven. And I'm scared it will crack if I just leave that little scorch line in there. Is that one? I think so. I'm going to position the ghost somewhere else.
We gotta go. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to let the grinder do the rest of the work because I, I was way too scared to cut more because I didn't have more white glass. <laughs> we got a ghost. <laughs> Something slightly ghost shaped. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Oh, whoops. I forgot this. I still need to, to, to cut this. And I'm just going to use this off white color because I have a lot of it for some reason. And once that is done, it is time for grinding. That would be the next step. I have my glass grinder right there and I'm going to get that in a second and then we need to grind these pieces. Yeah, so that they actually look like they are supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, it's time for the grinding. That means it's also time for another fit check. I always wear this mask during grinding because there's glass dust flying everywhere and I don't want to breathe in a bunch of glass. And then I also have different safety goggles for this. So I always look very cool while grinding. Look. Wonderful. Okay, the grinding part is done. That means it's it's jigsaw puzzle time. Very cute. I like it. This is now ready for foiling for the next part. This, however, is still just a white object of unidentified shape. So this is going to get painted and that's what we are doing now. And also the, the pumpkin, the little pumpkin is also going to get a little pumpkin face. And I decided not to cut this um, wood part thingy in a bunch of little pieces. Instead, I just, I just want to... Wait, I don't know how to explain things, so I'm going to get wire to visualize it. On the back side of the ghost, I just want to do like wire from here all the way to there. And then it has three sort of points, if you know what I mean. So it will be secured here, there and there. And then I will just hope and pray to whatever that um, this will work. But before we do that, um, painting. Time, time to paint. These now have to dry for at least four hours and then they have to go into an oven for I think 90 minutes. The ghost and pumpkin are now in the oven and while they 
they they get to have a little sauna spa day i am already going to start foiling our little bed and foiling stained glass foiling is something that i on some days find very relaxing almost hypnotizing kind of and on some days it just makes me kind of aggressive <laughs> don't know um what it will be today but i guess we will find out we need our copper foil this thing scissors and an exacto knife or whatever that's called i've heard people call this an exacto knife so i'm just going to call it that as well by the way i've been doing stained glass for like a year and a half now i think and i just a few months ago found out that this foil thing has like little holes down here <laughs> where you are supposed to put the foil through i didn't know that <laughs> Now I do. And yes, I am wearing my spooky sweater again. I told you I'm not taking this off. Done. Done with the foiling. That means now it's time for soldering. We need a brush for applying flux. Again, very important. Safety goggles. Oh no. Everything is under control. Soldering iron. What we also need? This. This guy. Solder. Then heat resistant gloves. A mask. Because breathing in that stuff is not very good for you. I also have this uh, little ventilator thing. And what else do we need? A sponge. Where's my sponge? There's my sponge. Right. Now I need some some water for the sponge. And I do have water right here and I kind of don't want to go downstairs. So I thought I'm just going to... Is this a good idea? Probably not. Am I going to do it anyways? Yes. Why? Because I am possibly... I don't have many brain cells. Time for the third fit check. The ghost works. Yes. Oh my god. And here's the bed. 
I put a little chain on it so that you can actually hang it up somewhere now. And now I am just going to package these and then I can send them off to my friend. And this is where I want to use the stamps from last week's video because I have this orange paper and I now want to put some spooky guys on there so that it looks very spooky and very nice. I'm gonna do that now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little spooky stained glass video. If you are a stained glass artist yourself and you want to make these spooky friends for your room, then I am going to put a link to a PDF document in the description where you can find the patterns. I'm also going to throw in a pattern for a pumpkin that I made last year. So if you want to make them for yourself, you can find it there. If anyone should happen to make these, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see that. My Instagram is also in the description. I hope to see you guys next week when it's time for a spooky painting. With this video, the spooky series is always or already halfway done. I don't know how time works, but yeah, next week will there will be a spooky painting, and I hope to see you then. Bye bye.